guys in this video we're going to be going over i think the craziest effect i've ever displayed on this channel let's just have a look at it I hope you enjoyed the preview. I think it looks absolutely crazy. I'm gonna show you how to create this kind of like immersive 3D web browser effect. Make sure to stick around because we're gonna be going over this Lichy border effect. I'm also gonna show you how to navigate in a kind of like 3D space, this kind of 3D effect. Also on your friendly files website, since it is Black Friday, we're running a buy one, get one free. So that means any amount of packs you add to your cart, you can get the exact same amount for completely free. For example, if you add the paper effects master bundle to your cart, which allows you to have crazy paper effects within seconds, you can also get the ultimate brain drop bundle, for example. Now enough yapping, let's get right into this. All right, so I have a clip of Ken Carson right here. So the first effect we're gonna do together is create that kind of like glitchy frame border effect. I think it's a super underrated effect. Probably will take the editing scene by storm. So you heard it here first. Let me show you the sauce. So we're gonna add the linear wipe effect to our layer right here. So you wanna duplicate it three times. One, two, three. That way we have four of them. You want to make sure that this one let's say for example let's add this one to 20 and this one you want it to be at 90 degrees then this one you want it to be at 180 degrees we're gonna make it somewhat 20 percent as well and then as you can see we can get this like border effect already we're gonna do the same thing for the other one so you get the principle this one 270 and then this one we're gonna do zero and then add 20 percent now we're gonna add an expression that's gonna sauce all of this up. So we're gonna take the first one and do alt click. And then we're gonna type posterize time eight. So that's gonna make it like eight frames per second, comma, enter. And then we're gonna do the kind of like randomized wiggle effect by writing wiggle, parenthesis, 24, comma, and then let's do 20% as well. So now you see the left one, it's gonna have that effect right here. So that's already like super trippy. Then we can just paste the same expression to the rest. So let's do command C, command C to copy. And then on this one, we do alt click once again, command V, alt click, command V, alt click, command V. Easy as that, we should have the base of our effect. Let's see what that looks like. That looks super far, I'm not gonna lie. And now we're really gonna emphasize the effect by duplicating it. And we're gonna have this crazy like randomized effect it's super easy, let's go. All right, so we're gonna duplicate that one and we're just gonna make it a bit taller because right now it kind of looks like all the same, right? It looks the same, we want it to be like really distinctive. So we're gonna really like increase the scale right here, something like that. That already looks different, but we can still do more. We're gonna do more by, fl let's untoggle the scale right here and let's do minus right here. And that's gonna flip it. So as you can see, it already looks so much different. It looks super cool in my opinion super clean and then we're just gonna rename these right here we're gonna call this one ken1 and then the one under ken2 and we're gonna add a kind of like solid block to it it's gonna add to our effect so let's duplicate that one we're gonna put it under rename it to block and then we're just gonna add the fill effect and that one i think by default it's already red i like the color already it looks super clean so we're gonna stick with that. Let's add a drop shadow that we can afterwards just copy. So I got my drop shadow right here. We can just copy that, paste it, command V onto the other ones. Now we have this pretty clean, tough, that looks fire. Now we're just gonna add a background right here. Let's do command Y to add a new solid. I think I'm gonna go with a kind of like blue right here. We're gonna call this BG. Fire. And we're also gonna add a vignette to it, clean. Yeah, that looks nice. Yeah, that looks super cool, that's fire. And now we're gonna set up our kind of like 3D environment. It's not as difficult as you may think, but it's definitely gonna impress your clients, whatever, whoever you make your edits for. Let me show you. So you wanna make sure that all of the layers are 3D. So we're just gonna toggle all of these and then we're gonna create a new null object. We're gonna make that null object 3D as well, obviously. So in order to really get our 3D effect, you wanna change the depth of the layer. So you do that by changing the Z axis of the position. So you do that by pressing P. And then that one, as you can see, we can just like, that one is gonna be like in front. So we're just gonna drag it like over to us. As you can see, it's already like working. So let's do something crazy like that. And then we can reduce the scale so that it still goes back like this. The same thing for that one, but that one is gonna be like further. Now we can't see it because 
that one is in front of it. The block as well, we're gonna put it, I think I wanna put it like in between both something like that and then the background we're just gonna make it like super far but we're gonna increase the scale let's increase the scale of the second one and then the block one as well so now when we go to the position properties by pressing p of the no layer oh also one thing you want to shift click select all of them and parent them to the null that way when we move it you get our cool effect now i feel like that one is like two in front in my opinion so let's just we're gonna tell them to chill a little bit. Yeah, something like that. That's not bad. All right. And then we're gonna create a 3D camera as well. But now before actually creating a 3D movement, what's kind of missing right now, it's kind of looking like empty. So we really need like the right assets, those like kind of style, like web browser style. That's what we're going with today. I'm gonna to show you the absolute sauce when it comes to like having those web distorted assets. I know a lot of you guys have caught the ultimate brain rock bundle where you can get in this bonus part, those crazy like animated GIFs. Those look insane. So that's just like a bonus part of the ultimate brain rock bundle. If you don't have it, you can copy it down below. Plus it's buy one, get one free. So might as well get another bundle for the same price. But I'm just gonna drag these in there as well. That is my favorite one, like Geek Mouse. It looks super crazy, really matches like that style. And I don't really have to look for assets so much. So I'm gonna make it 3D and then I'm gonna put it like in front. And now all I gotta do is just like parent it to the null. But I definitely want it to be like smaller though. So let's do something like let's press P. So you basically just wanna adjust it. We're gonna put it in front. We're gonna make it smaller though. Something like that is fine. That works. I'm gonna drag in a few like geeked emoji that always looks super clean. Make it 3D. So it's the like same workflow. So you just do null. That one we can put it more like up there something like that i think i'm gonna grab like money sign and then yeah, i'm gonna grab the internet browser and then let's just do animated tracking box let's check those so now we're pretty much good to go i think we're just gonna add a posterized time effect that way it all moves at the same frame rate so let's create a new adjustment layer let's do posterized time and then let's make it eight frames per second a particular style so let's check that i'm just gonna go over to the brain raw effects text animation so that's like one pack out of three so that's included in the ultimate brain raw bundle so i just want to animate like this uh, right here because as you can see the internet browser doesn't move you kind of want it to match the rest so i'm just gonna add boingo matic right here just drag and drop it and then as you can see it's just animated just like this this one is crazy this one is absolutely crazy now without further ado let's add that to a camera scene let's go so we're gonna add a new camera and then we're gonna add this kind of like depth of field effect so let's select that so let's go within the settings and then let's go to camera options and we're gonna add a depth of field effect so we're gonna increase the aperture as well. Something like, yeah, maybe like 270. And we're gonna change the focus distance so that it focuses on the subject right here. But honestly, we don't have to add like so much of it. Maybe like, yeah, 200 should be fine. And now this is where the null is gonna come handy. So as you can see, when we zoom out, we're gonna have that effect right here. However, you just wanna make sure that the background is like still yeah there we go so we're gonna keyframe the position and then we're gonna go into the scene right here until like we're in focus if that makes sense yeah there we go we're gonna ease those keyframes and then we're just gonna do a graph just like this that way it becomes explosive in the middle hey so that's what it looks like it looks super hard that looks insane now i'm just going to put you on to one final touch that looks super crazy to me and it's the ntsc plugin if you don't know it is completely free as well so i'll leave it down below it's going to add that final like vhs look to our scene let's go so i already have it downloaded so ntsc you can literally just put it on the adjustment layer and just make sure that it is above the posterized time effect and then i just want to make a kind of like orientation effect so right now the camera isn't moving. Free sauce, if you do alt click on orientation and you type wiggle two, and then let's say like two again, it's gonna make it wiggle within the 3D environment. Gonna look super clean. Let's look at what we have. That is so clean. Now let's look at our final result. 
So that was it for today. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video and if it brought you any value, please consider subscribing. Also make sure to take advantage of the buy one, get one free that we're running right now. Only this Black Friday, we don't do these sales often. So make sure to snag as many editing packs as you can. And with that said, I'll see y'all boys later. Peace.